Hi, welcome to our video presentation for Design Document B. We are Denmark Tech. In Design Document A, we have done initial user research to understand about active aging people. Then, we want to learn more about active aging people, so we conducted interviews. After the interviews are done, we group all data to infinite diagrams, and from the organized data, we created personas. According to the personas, we come up with final ideation, which is skills trait. In our refined idea of skills trait, we implemented geographical matchup feature. It is to help users to easily find their matching skills close to their location. We have also implemented Domex 6 feature, which enables skills trait to run on various platforms around the house, including PC, TV, and also mobiles and tablets. This is a diagram of skills trait ecosystem. One thing to highlight is at the top, there are two phones close together. Once they are close together, it initiates automatic appointment system that is invoked according to the geographical matchup feature. Now we would like to show you our paper prototype. In our paper prototype, we cut out cardboard boxes as big as an iPhone for the frame. This is to provide feeling that they are actually using a real iPhone. For the screens, we draw out all the elements ourselves. In order to understand how people think about our paper prototype, we recruited three different people as users for our usability testing. During the usability testing, there are three people, members of our group, who are running the test. First one is the facilitator, who takes note about all the testing. Second one's the tester, who actually conducts the test. And the third one's the assistant, who helps to swap pages and sort out any technical issues. After the usability test, we came up with summary of heuristic analysis to review the severity of mistakes in our design. Visibility of the system status was medium and average. Match between system and real world was medium. User control and freedom was severe in average because there was no virtual keyboard as provided during the test. Consistency and standard was medium. Error prevention was severe because there is no error prevention strategies that was provided in several pages such as in offer page. Recognition rather than recall was hard because the user asked question about each pages in almost every pages during the test. Flexibility and efficiency use was medium. Minimalist design was slow. User recognizes, diagnose and recover from error was slow. Help and documentation was also low in average. So we would now like to demonstrate our high fidelity prototype using Balsamic. Once user click on the application, the user will be brought to the login page, which has the register and login. So what's important and interesting about this page here is there is a face recognition. So once the user click on this, the camera will automatically scan the user's face. And if the system recognizes user, the user will be redirected to the next page. But if not, there is a failure the user will be able to go back to the login page and log in manually. We also provide stars for feedback for users as this technology is pretty advanced and new for our active aging user. Mind this red button here as it is only there for purpose of demonstration and the user will automatically be redirected to the next page. So now we are at the loading page where users can see how many new offers are created within the location. We have this and the progress bar instead of the typical circle feedback. Once details are processed, the user will also be able to automatically redirect to the next page. So right now, we are at the offers listing page. What we can see up here is the navigation bar that is scrollable. We also provide hint as this prof word is incomplete for users to know that it is scrollable. The users can go to various pages from here and there's going to be a logout button at the end over here. The users can also use skill and location filter to filter offer that is available. Once user feel that they can actually help someone, they can just click on this offer and it will go to a single offer detail page. And then here's the skill that a person can offer. If the user feel that they can help, they can click on the message button to communicate with the person in need. If the person in need actually feel the user can help, they can actually request for appointment and there's gonna be a button change here, it will grey out, meaning the appointment is requested. And then in the offer listing page, 
the user is going to receive notification. So once the user click on this, a pop-up will be visible in the middle here saying Jane Dawson requested for help. And once the user accepts it, they can message and make an appointment. And here is the make an offer page where users can ask for help. So here's an interesting feature that we designed. Do not mind this box. This is actually a circle representing, representing radius of a user. The user can actually pick a location without having to input text. Users can zoom in and zoom out to provide their location of where they need help. Once they finish, they can click post. And also users can edit their profile. And also once they're finished, they can click save to save it. Once the users finish their interaction, they can log up in the nav bar. And here is our digital prototype. Thank you for listening.